What is going on everybody? Welcome to Sus Project. Today we're going to be going over how I actually built my saw shelf. This is kind of a quick and dirty project. Um, this is a temporary saw shelf. I'm going to be building a lot better one later on. So here I'm shooting the ends of uh, my pieces of walnut for the dovetails. As you can see I'm getting full length end grain shavings which is I thought was pretty cool. I didn't actually have my dovetail marker at this point, but I'm just laying out my dovetails with a uh, sliding T-bevel and a square to mark the lines that are square across. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my, uh, I guess you could say, tenon Japanese saw and I'm going to cut down the lines as best as possible. This is really isn't too much of an in-depth video on dovetails. Trust me, there's going to be plenty of videos on dovetails later on, and if you would love to see more of that, make sure to uh, subscribe. There's going to be a whole bunch of cool videos coming up. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little glue up on these dovetails. You know, I really wasn't 100% pleased with how these dovetails came out. Um, it's probably one of my worst dovetails that I've ever made, uh, which, again, this is a temporary shelf, so uh, I can live with it. Now it's actually time to glue the dovetails together and I actually put my square in the inside to make sure uh, the shelf was dead square. Um, this was the only way to actually seat these dovetails was to use the clamps and glue them together. Um, that's why I wasn't really too happy about it. You can see me kind of pulling apart to make sure it's square right there but here it is gluing up and I've still got to plane it at this point. Um, it, they don't look too bad, but as you can see, they are dead square, which is actually really important. Here I'm actually uh, using a uh, poor man's hand router to route out the grooves. Um, this is a really cool little tool that Paul Sellers actually invented. And uh, I thought it was really cool, so I used it because I don't actually have a router just yet. And uh, it actually worked very nicely. Here I'm marking out how uh, long this piece needs to be to fit into this groove exactly because uh, this is the easiest way to do it to make sure it fits dead perfect. And here I'm on my shooting board again and I'm fine tuning the fit for the groove. This slides in. Uh, pretty nicely. I was I was pretty happy about the fit on this. Um, again, it didn't have to be perfect, and it didn't even have to be glued together because uh, it fit pretty nicely. There's a better look at the the plain dovetails. Here, I'm just going to be marking out where I want the grooves for the saws to go in. I just kind of um, divided up a certain amount and I set a stopping point for the grooves so I, can, I didn't want them to go all the way through obviously. And now I'm just taking my uh, Ryobo saw and I'm going to be ripping down or cross cutting down to that line. Simple as that. I actually got my thumb in the way here and I ripped back my nail. Um, this didn't hurt too bad. It looks like it would hurt but it, <laughs> it really didn't. I just uh, I kept on carrying on. Didn't really worry too much about it. Here I'm cross cutting down the uh, second kerf, I guess you could say, down to my stopping line. This is how, I'm pretty sure this was a quarter inch wide, um, so that way I could slide in the blade and it could drop onto the handle and it wouldn't fall through. Here I actually used my uh, coping saw, but it wasn't necessary, I, for some reason I didn't think about it. But you can actually take your chisel here, as you can see what I'm doing now. Um, you can just take your chisel and pop those out. Those come out really easily. So this is pretty much as simple as the project is. Um, I'm just going to be sanding down here to add the finish. This might seem kind of odd to some people, but uh, for my finish I'm using uh, pure jojoba oil 
Um, I actually used this to sharpen my tools, and I got this from somebody you guys might know by the name of Tom Vigeon. Um, that's what I sharpen my tools with, and I, I use it as a finish, and I actually really liked the result. I actually liked it better than tongue oil or linseed oil, and it's also good for your hands. I'm just going to be adding a little bit of glue to the grooves. It's not 100% necessary, but I figured I would just hold them in place. So there's kind of the, the final fit before clamping. It turned out alright, wasn't perfect, but uh, it was good enough for me. Um, here you can see the, the curly maple. Um, I don't know why I use this for this project, I probably shouldn't have. Uh, this is a decent piece, but oh well. Um, there you can see the groove and all of the slots for the saws. And I found a place I wanted to put it on the wall, and there it is. This is a super easy project that uh, is really useful. If you don't have a place to put your saws, um, you guys should try this out. It's really cool. It gets all your saws up and out of the way. And I really enjoyed building this, actually. So I'll probably be building me more of these. Uh, later on in the future and I'll definitely be uploading here to the channel. Here's kind of uh, two little sneak peeks of some videos coming up here soon. I've got a Lee Nelson dovetail saw. I bought this in between building this and there is a uh, dovetail marker that I'll be also making in a future video. I was pretty proud of uh, how this actually turned out. Um, I was more proud of how useful it was and it got all my my saws off my cabinet here over on the left and put them on the wall and it really made everything look a whole lot better in the shop. Alright guys, um, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Um, this was a really fun shelf to build and this is again just temporary. There's going to be um, an actual saw cabinet, a uh, plane cabinet that I'm going to build and a chisel cabinet which might be mixed in with one of those. Also I want to do this outro just for like a quick update. Um, I'm working on a massive maple and walnut workbench. Um, it'll be probably in 20 parts on my channel. It is going to be the most important videos on my channel so make sure you do not miss those and uh, hit that subscribe button. I also want to say that I'm going down to Georgia here in a couple days and I'm going to be going to Highland Woodworking. Um, it is going to be very fun. I'm going to get me a couple tools there, probably get my router plane there and a uh, marking gauge. Also I wanted to mention uh, I don't up upload here on YouTube too often um, that's because these projects do take a while. Um, if you guys would like to see these projects uh, as they go um, and you would like to see more behind the scenes type of stuff make sure to go uh, follow me on Instagram. The link will uh, of course be in the description. I actually have tons of videos uh, coming up. Um, I've got some dovetail markers that I'm going to be making on video and I'm also going to be selling these on eBay until I get my website up um, eventually whenever I make enough of them. Uh, since I last saw you, I actually got this uh, massive plane. Um, this is the Veritas uh, number 7 jointer plane. And there is going to be a lot more tools to come. I um, also picked up this Lee Nelson dovetail saw. Um, again, a lot more projects. Uh, this workbench project is going to take me a long time to do. All done by hand and it is going to be um, very, very fun. and hopefully awesome to watch. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope to see you again soon and uh, make sure to subscribe, like if you enjoyed the video and see you later.